Hello there, Aries. Thank you so much for joining me. We're doing a no contact love reading that focuses on a connection relationship that is significant, that is special for you. And well, it's probably not in the best place right now, or who knows? Maybe you don't know where it stands. It's unclear for sure. Well, this reading is meant to give you clarity and insight into this no contact relationship and the happenings right now. All right, Aries, Aries, Holy Spirit, we're connected with the zodiac sign of Aries. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for Aries in love, in romance, in relation to this no contact relationship? Here we go, here we go. It's about damn time. It's about damn time you take a risk. The fool. Does it seem a bit foolish? Ah, maybe. But that's just the feeling somebody needs to get past. The fool and then the nine of cups. All right. Somebody needs to be a fool. Somebody needs to take a chance. Somebody needs to make a fool out of themselves. Because it's going to result in a very nice reward <laughs> the fool and the nine of cups that's what's happening and that's what's going on right now guys is it really or let's see let's see is it really is this you who all right so i'm going to tell you what i see aries i'm not going to say this is you and this is them i'm just gonna share with you what i am seeing what i'm feeling all right we have the high priestess <sighs> I told you so. <laughs> that's, what, that's what this one's saying. I told you so. All right, so I'm seeing a gentleman that is, that is doing something right now that is different, that is new to them. It perhaps even may be unlike them. I don't think that they feel like completely comfortable with doing this, but actually i feel like that's how they have felt but now with the full being here something has encouraged them to take a step forward and well they don't really know how this is going to turn out nobody really knows how this is going to turn out the full what's gonna happen uh, well, this is what I see ha happening. He's going to, th that foot there is going to step on this ladder and somehow, some way, the ladder's just going to balance itself out and it's going to take him to the other building. <laughs> you see? So a stunt. You know what this also feels like, guys? I feel like somebody has been set up and I do frankly believe that this is spirit. These are greater forces that are involved that are that have managed to set somebody up <laughs> in a good way. Be I'm here because otherwise they would not have, um, well, taken the chance. So you see how they're distracted? They're looking at the balloon and they don't realize that's there. But you see... If the ladder wasn't there, they would just drop to the floor. So I'm seeing this ladder as spirit, for example, right? That's like, we're going to catch you. So this overall is a situation that could definitely go really wrong, but that doesn't. Miraculously, perhaps, right? It doesn't go bad at all. Maybe was it like an accident of some sort? You know, those happen, right? An accident and it just kind of like, whoa, this wasn't really supposed to happen, but it happened and oh my goodness. Um, wow, I am, I'm really happy it, it happened. And, and, and again, it had to happen this way or otherwise it just wouldn't have happened because then I would have, or somebody would have you, them, again, someone would have just, they would have gotten in the way, the, in the way. They would have messed this up. Okay, and I keep, this one keeps talking, the high priestess. So this is the masculine male man, gentleman, and then this is the feminine energy. And I keep hearing, I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. I think that sounds like you. <laughs> I think that sounds like you, Aries. I told, tell me more about this, I told you so. 
that's what's happening. That's what's going on. Whoa, did they tell you so? I think this is spirit talking to you, Aries, telling you, I told you. So what did spirit tell you? What did spirit reveal to you guys? I love revelations. But they're hard to decode, aren't they? They can be very hard to decode. The high priestess, what did spirit reveal to you already through a meditation, through a vision of some sort or some, what was revealed to you? What did spirit tell you that maybe you've doubted, you doubted, ha, are still doubting? What is it? Whatever it is, look, what's clarifying the high priestess, it's the tower. Some, something's happening, Some. Something is something big. This is something big, guys. Something comes crashing down. Something had to come crashing down, guys. Did it already come crashing down? Are you like in the middle of it? Something already, I feel like something already fell apart. It had to happen this way. Sometimes it's not that it has to, you know, sometimes we feel like life is against us, but we don't realize that our own choices and decisions, not intentionally, sometimes we don't have the awareness, that awareness that we need, but we don't realize how our own actions really contributed to a, a lot of things, right? The towers. All right, I told you this would happen. I told you this would happen. And it's happening or it has happened. Ooh, is, oh my goodness. The 10 of cups and it's reversed. So there's a breakup here. There's a, there's, there's a breakup, there's a separation, there's, and then we have the five of swords at the bottom. It's the five of swords, guys. So there's there's fight, there is an argument, there's just something that goes really wrong. I believe that this is a breakup. This is a this is not any kind of breakup, like a really bad, nasty separation. Like something happens that really disrupts everything. I told you this would happen. Well, here it is. It's, I suppose it's happening already. The Tower, the Ten of Cups, and then the Five of Swords. A sudden shocking event. Relationship, Ten of Cups reverse that comes crashing down. And with the Five of Swords, the reason it happens is something to talk about. <laughs> What's the equivalent of Jerry Springer now? Is Jerry Springer even a thing? I never watched Jerry Springer, to be honest. Like, I just never was. I was never into it, but it was a thing when I was growing up. Jerry Springer was like a really big thing. But, you know, it, it um, it's like this is the kind of stuff that belongs on Jerry Springer, it feels like. What? It's shocking. It's 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 not just any old separation, any old thing happening. Like it's like wow, now this is something people fight about. <laughs> people get slapped for. People, you know, things get broken. I told you so. Okay. So that's what's happening. That's what's going on right now, guys. And look, the high priestess is there standing and right behind her, there is, there's, that's fire on a building, right? So we could say that's the tower. I told you so. It's happening. It's going on right now. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. You know the tea, Aries. <laughs> We have the Ace of Wands. All of this. Do 
gives way to actually hold on we have the three of cups and then we have i the queen i don't like this queen of pentacles in this deck look at her i don't like her they're just very they're manipulative super controlling so i'm seeing a very manipulative controlling <sighs> puppeteer woman and with the three of cups this feels like no remorse like there's no remorse here it's been concluded right the three of of cups can also be like just the conclu a conclusion of some sort right and we have a woman we have friends that are just having a, a fun time there's no worry in the world and the queen of pentacles is there and again the queen of pentacles to me in this deck is just a highly manipulative person i don't like them i don't i don't like this queen of pentacles at all sorry not sorry oh that it's related to this like something really messed up is happening i mean there's there's if there's not people fighting it for each and every one of you there's a timeline you might be in the middle of it. You might be at the beginning of it. You might be at the end of it. I mean, but there's definitely fighting. And look, there seems to be a bully of some sort, right? Because look, we have a person here that is, you know, having to set boundaries. Like you can't do that. Or, you know, there's anger, there's aggression. And and there's somebody that is hurt and somebody needs to get, needs to intervene. Like, no, you can't do that. No, like you're not gonna do that. And the 10 of cups, it's reversed. This is a family and it's reversed. So this is, I'm seeing this as a couple guys, a relationship that is, there's no love, there's no love. And well, with the tower, it just, it just falls apart in the most horrible way. It falls apart the most horrible way. And look here, I feel like this one for sure had a nasty part in it. But look, don't care. I don't care. No remorse at all. I don't care at all. It was fun. It was fun. I mean, it might not be fun now but it's just it's just a person with no remorse okay tell me about this ace of wands what is this ace of wands doing here okay we have the page of cups one more card tell me about this queen of tell me about this queen of pentacles just tell me more about the vibe behind the queen of pentacles let's see tell me more about this puppeteer Ew, I just felt something tickle my ear. Get out. <laughs> we have the temperance and the six of pentacles. Okay. The temperance and the six of pentacles. All right. Let's start with the ace of wands and the page of cups. What's happening here, guys? I'm seeing a woman that has been really good at maneuvering through all sorts of obstacles that's what i'm saying isn't it right she's balancing this this is a waitress so so this is like a maybe there's a waitress um this is a person that like i'm thinking about diner dash have you ever played diner dash there's all these orders. You have to get to this table, that table. You need to clean this up. And there's something, you know, there's something on the floor you have to work through. There's difficult customers and you have to just successfully maneuver through it all. So this is a person, a woman, I, I believe this is you, Aries, or I see a woman that has successfully 
maneuvered is, is successfully pulling something off yeah she has is has and is successfully pulling something off that's not easy it it, it takes poise it, it takes experience it, it takes a certain kind of person all right like not anybody can be a waitress it's not it you know there's a lot of jobs out there that people should not be doing because they're just not cut out for it because they don't have the temperament they don't have the personality right they just don't have it like if you're in service a customer service you have to be able to control like you have to it's not that the customer is over is right, but even if you're a business owner, like you have to be able to deal with all kinds of temperaments and you just can't blow up on them because it, it's just not, it's not right in the position, in my opinion. It's not, you have to, even, you know, whether they're wrong or right, it doesn't matter. Like you have to process the information you're receiving and think of the best way to respond to get you the outcome that you want. And well, that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a person that has successfully done that. And with the Ace of Wands, guys, uh, these are actions, right? Actions. Actions that have been taken that you know are, are really working out well i think that's you i feel like there's more to grab from here we have the six of wands you know what i'm also seeing here like um this this six the temperance is about like what i was just talking about the temperament like you really have to stay balanced you can't be too much too little you have to readjust all the time so i i'm seeing a woman that has been doing that readjusting every day and that can be incredible and the reason when you have to do this is because finding peace and balance every day doesn't come easy when the temperance comes out oh my god it means you're having to exert a lot of energy into balance every day and well that means that there could be a lot of stressors a lot of things happening and going on that can disrupt you right and we see that here like again with the diner dash right and look that looks like a bar can you think about a bar and the types of people you encounter, especially when they've been drinking, obnoxious, all kinds of people, right? And you, you know, this one has been able to maneuver through, been able to work, right, with the situation, challenging a lot of stress, but they've been, they've managed. And I don't know, there's something very admirable about that, which is why we have the six of pentacles. You know, sometimes we put, we're put through challenging things, guys. And it sucks uh, while we're going through it, or we might ask ourselves, why are we going through this? Or why is this so hard? Or why this or why that? But like once it's over, you realize that you've gained a lot from, from that experience. And that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing something very good coming from this. With the Six of Pentacles, it's help, it's support, it's love. It's a gift. It's something that benefits you. You see? And what do we have here? I don't know. Oh, look, there's somebody on a scale. What is happening? I don't really. Um. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I know somebody's on a scale and we have these people um, on their, you know, down here. And I don't know what's happening, but it's good. Whatever it is, it's it's good. It's it's it, it it's something that works out for you. So I see some something good coming out of something, guys. And 
we this could certainly be an opportunity that comes about for you my dear aries that you are in the in the right um that you that you are equipped uh for however that resonates all right so that's kind of like a big picture of what's happening and going on right now guys um to be honest with you i want to look more into this this drama over here <laughs> let's see let's look into it just a little bit more tell me more about this drama this tower this five of swords Oof. tell me more about it what can you tell us about it what can you tell aries about it what can you tell aries about more of more about yeah what can you tell aries tell us more about this tower and this five of swords this ten of cups reverse this disaster Tell us more about this disaster. We want to know all about it. Okay. Oh, are, are these reverse? I guess they are. We have the Knight of, oh no, the Knight of Swords. That's what it looks like upright. It's reverse, guys. So this is screaming, as a matter of fact. This is screaming. Oh, somebody, there's so there's frustration, there's anger, there's rage. Unpredictability, lashing out. I'm seeing a person, uh, a male, and I'm seeing someone that at some point was, I I feel like they're the type of person that it's just that likes to, that is just, but with it being reversed, I feel like the situation and the circumstances are taking them out of their element. And upright would be like a person that says, okay, listen, let's like, for example, let's punish this person, but not cruel and unusual punishment, right? Like we have to be civilized, right? We, we, we can't, I, I can't do this. Like I know that they, they, they deserve to be punished, right? I'm thinking about the Knight of Swords. Well, nothing is an accident. Let me continue with what I was saying. Um, well, I guess because reverse, it would kind of be like the Knight of Swords. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Don't lose your train of thought. Yes, right? I'm seeing a person that, okay, like, oh, all right. I, so in this, for example, somebody needs to be punished or they're wrong or whatever, but they they don't they don't allow or they wouldn't allow, they wouldn't take action to they they won't go so far. Again, cruel and unusual punishment. Well, I feel like this situation has really it's like it's forcing their hand in, in such a way that is not like them. And, and there, somebody is really angry, guys. And I even see them it like be like being mean, but it's not it's not like them usually. But the circumstances is just so bad that. They're, I'm, I'm telling you, they're completely out of their element. And this is the kind of stuff, five of swords, where you say things that you can never take back. You do things that you can never take back. And it's never, and it's meant to just, it's meant to hurt. It's meant to suck. And it's meant to just be petty. Even it's just like, I don't care. The two of swords reversed. I feel like if there was any sort of doubt and there was with because the two of swords is here any doubt is no more any decisions right that were pending that were unclear like it they're uh, they're not they're they're clear now two of swords 
to a source reverse, it's also like, well, I got everything I needed to know, or I got all this information, not in the way that I was hoping for, not in the way I wanted to find out, but now I have all the, these details. Um, whoa, okay, we have the death card. Yeah, I'm telling you, something's over. And I'm telling you, it's brutal, guys. It's brutal. I mean, we see somebody that is passed out and they're holding someone up like, my goodness, this is, is brutal, whatever this is. And and it is, it's very sudden. All right, that's, that's it. You know, I just wanted to look into that a little bit more. All right, let's get some messages. Let's get some messages, Aries. Some messages for you from your significant other. Let's see, what do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? What do they want to tell you? There will only ever be one you. I am so grateful for you. Tell me more. Tell us more. All right. There will only ever be one you. I am so grateful for you. I'm seeing a very patient woman. I wish you peace, happiness, and love. You are like an angel. Reminds me of the temperance. Our connection is cosmic and I love that. All right, so let's try, let's look into this a little bit more. There will only ever be one you. I'm so grateful for you. So there will only be one you. So you're irreplaceable. You, you hold an important place in this person's life. And they're grateful. They're grateful for you. You are like an angel. So I feel like here, the, what your significant other, if we can apply this to whatever's happening, I feel like they're realizing there's obviously something that goes, there's something really nasty there. And well, that, the toxicity and the negativity, the darkness in that it's really making you shine. Not that you didn't before, but it's there's something that they can really see clearly. And I think it has a lot to do with your heart, your intentions, and, and you being genuine. Our connection is cosmic, and I love that. It's It's just super impactful the connection, the love between, the connection between the both of you. There's something very unique as well and different about it that they're acknowledging. Okay, well, listen, What what's next? What's next? What is next? Let's share with my dear Aries, what is next? What is next? What will be happening and going on? This could also be revelations for you. Aries, what is next? Holy Spirit, what is next? Okay, we have the King of Cups, and we see a gentleman that is just, I guess, reflecting. Like, what just happened is what this feels like. Like, what just happened, right? There's a bunch of mess there. Like, there was a big, crazy party, and it's the next day, and they're like, either one, like, what happened here? As well as, like, look at all this mess. Uh, we have the star. And then we have the Four of Cups. Ooh, someone's upset. Look at that Four of Cups. Like, nope, not happy, not happy, not happy, not happy. Nothing, nothing makes me happy. So I'm seeing, this is what's next. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a gentleman that is, um, whose, you know, feelings are really speaking to them. There's obviously a lot to just, I guess, maybe take in. And it looks like they are, like they've had certainly a, a, re a revelation or something, right? Like there's something, there's something important that they're thinking about that they're sitting on, right? Maybe action, something that they need to do. I don't know. They're just like thinking, reflecting, and, t you know, just really filling everything out. Then we have the star. It, 
it's it's certainly could be reconciliation the king of cups and then the star reconciliation the hope for that but then we have this four of cups like there's just somebody not happy here and i think this is the problem like this four of cups like look this but no matter what like what about this what about that this is like nothing makes this person happy so somebody's real okay so that's what let's look into this a little bit more tell me about this king of cups tell me about this king of cups one 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 oh i've been seeing one 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 everywhere one eleven eleven just the ones everywhere we have the page of swords and then we have the devil yep so listen i see a gentleman this is future energy this is just yeah like uh, what's going to be happening i see a gentleman that is who's thinking thinking about maybe what to do but there's a problem of some sort or when somebody sits like that on a couch or anywhere they sit and they're like this like like they're thinking like they, they're they're trying to figure out something or they're thinking about different things different scenarios maybe and the outcomes or what how this or that like they're just seeing how everything can mix together how, how yeah they're just thinking about a lot of things and well with the devil here and the page of swords one this could be a it's difficult guys it's difficult for them to get something across page of swords communication information knowledge and then we have the devil restrictions limitations and you combine there's just it's it's difficult to convey something it's it's difficult to they're finding something incredibly challenging but to be honest i feel like this is a problem that they're anticipating right they they're anticipating problems and i feel like this is directly connected to that the chaos the drama we saw there they feel there's there there they are limited and restricted i also feel like you know this page of swords is also spine it's just like an eye that's over you So they're just find there's just something that they're finding difficult here, which could certainly be be communication or expressing something or or just doing something without it without 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 it uh, affecting them, I guess. All right, now tell me more about this star. we have the hermit so you know the hermit is wisdom it's it's something that i know now like is something that i know something i understand something that i see they have a flashlight and they're looking at this star guys so i feel like this goes with the messages that we got what are they this one you are like an angel right this you are like an angel it just it's just acknowledging a, a purity like there's something right that they're realizing and they're seeing now there's some there's some something maybe perhaps that the both of you understand the both of you see but this is about honesty as well like yeah and again now i'm thinking about the what is it the high priestess at the beginning that said i told you so 
So I'm seeing a masculine energy, right? Somebody that has the experience that they need to understand and see something more clearly that they didn't see before. And I think it's something incredibly positive. Now we have the four of cups. What's up? Now the hermit and the star is also following divine guidance, following, listening to your higher self. The hermit and then the star says that there might be a little bit of road, road to travel still, guys, and there is a need to take your past experiences into account to help you make choices and decisions as well as to follow the guidance right that you've already received from spirit the guidance that you're receiving at the present moment we have the ten of cups i see somebody that is incredibly disappointed and unhappy guys and then we have the ten of pentacles and it looks like i don't know a dad and then two kids this one's so unhappy. Like I see somebody that is bitter. Isn't this person bitter? The hermit as well, guys, look, it looks like he's coming. I don't know. He's coming out of something, right? And he's hurt because in some way disabled because he has a walker or he has this thing there. I don't know what it's called. And he has a flashlight, right? So I feel like this is a gentleman that needs, um, who overall doesn't necessarily need guidance anymore. I feel like at some point they did, especially so with the high priestess at, at the very beginning. Right? But, but I feel like they're definitely equipped to be able to see for themselves. Right? It's like they see something for themselves. And that in itself is it's it's what's going to be guiding them. And then um, this is also reconciliation. This as well, guys, could is um, somebody that was in seclusion, for example, and here you know they come out of that seclusion. And over over is just something very positive, guys. We could say this this star is just a. It's just a positive force, a positive light for for this for this gentleman after all this mess that we see here. And notice that they're still worried. They're still worried. They're worried here about honestly, I feel like they're worried about some what somebody finding out. It's, yeah, it's like they're worried about. right the page of swords communication knowledge information learning right it's like something that it's just it's 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 known and how and how that is going to affect them like this like gosh which could certainly be for example if there's a a, div, a a breakup a separation like oh my god the this person is going to make things very difficult. This as well, we see two people back there that are chained like they they feel stuck for whatever reason. And well, the hermit and the star, I'm seeing this hermit looking at the star like, you know, again, I have the wisdom now the knowledge that perhaps i didn't have before that i have now and um well i think that really changes everything guys and then there's somebody really upset that's not happy they're they're not happy with anything happy with anything so i see a person that will be making things difficult guys this is a woman that is not looking to come to any sort of agreement it's not it's not it is it's not they're just saying no to everything disagreeing with everything just because they're bitter and they're unhappy 
and that's the way they're going to be. That's the way they're being, I guess. But this Ten of Pentacles says that, you know, this is like a safe haven here, guys. It is. It's a safe haven. Look at, there's a sun back there and it has a smile. So I see a home. I see a setting that is incredibly positive, supporting, safe, and secure. That's protected against any sort of negativity. It's like this cannot be... I feel like this is the connection between the both of you that cannot be penetrated, that cannot be negatively influenced because it stands so strong and there's so much positive light, right? There's the glue I'm hearing that holds this together. It's just, it's so strong. There's, it's not going to, you know, fall apart. And, and, and you know, this 10 of pentacles, this looks so happy to me. So that's what's going to be happening next, guys. I'm worried, which is pretty much I'm worried about how this is going to, when this gets out or, you know, when somebody gets word of this or whatever, like I'm, I'm scared, I'm afraid, I'm worried about how this is going to affect us or, you know, the situation. I, I'm hopeful regardless of what's going on regardless of what's going on on i'm hopeful and um i know where i'm going i, I know where i'm at i know where i want to go i know where i want to be and then we have i'm not happy with anything i'm not happy with anything and then we have we don't care <laughs> like what's on tv we don't care right doesn't it look like a fortress like it's like i just like the vibe in here it feels like a happy loving home you know and and it, and it feels because the father is here it, it there's protection like it is there's nothing that can hurt us here is what this feels like all right last last message last message if you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VultureVoyageTarot.com where you can book a private reading with me. Closing messages for Aries. I'm in such a dark place right now. I need you to send me your love telepathically. Yeah, we saw that mess. We Yeah, the, the worry. I swear I've been feeling a huge surge of your energy lately. I Am I insane? I'm in such a dark place right now. I need you to send me your love telepathically. Wow. I swear I've been feeling a huge surge of your energy lately. Am I insane? So they feel you. They, they feel energy, right? The presence of spirit. We've seen it throughout, right? The angel, the card, angel. We saw the angel in the temperance and the star card. So you see how that goes with it? Like there's, I do feel like spirit is a strong presence in both of your lives at the present moment that, you know, is meant to provide you guys with guidance and support. Last message, last message. More messages for my dear, for my dear Aries from their significant other. Let's see these right here. It says, you take my breath away. You are everything I could have ever dreamed of. I am, am I crazy about, I am crazy about you. I might not let you know that though. I have to keep some secrets in my life. You see, we saw that with the, with the, um, you see, there's something there, the devil and then the page of swords that somebody doesn't really want to get out because of the negative consequences, but also something they can't really get out of. And there's, you know, contemplation about that. I have to keep some secrets in my life. If you only knew how much I love, adore, and need you, you would have full control over me, okay? I put you in a bad situation when I couldn't decide if I wanted to be with you or someone else. Okay, so is that what's happening? Yeah, certainly. It wasn't fair to you, and I know that. I didn't always feel loyal to you like I should have. I didn't do right by you in a lot of ways. 
I want you to know the truth. Okay, good. Okay. I want you to know the truth. All right. One last message for you, Aries, and we're done. I'm letting you go. Aries, Aries, one last message for my dear Aries. One last message for Aries, let's see. One last message, one last message. Let's do this, let's grab this one. Friendship, okay. It says, nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love will dramatically improve. Hmm. Let's grab another card. Let's, not this one, not this one. Hold on, hold on. Friendship, nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship. So this is, you know, about trusting, right? When friend, it's like you can tell them anything. This is about trust and, and, and like, I'm not just your lover. Like I'm more than that. I, I, you know, I want you to be able to tell me anything to confide in me, to talk to me and, and, you know, and, and to have you understand me, to, to advise me, to have compassion, right. And not hold things against me just listen like a friend. So I think that this card is talking about that friendship, nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Right. I see that connected to the other cards in the message there about, you know, telling the truth. This one and this one, and we're done. Balance, oh, three cards. This one's pop balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges, manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. This is what I have for you, Aries. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.